questions about optics? Our series, The Clear View, featuring Vortex Optics, will have the answers. In this segment, Ian and Jeff discuss the internal workings of a Vortex Optic. Let's take a look. I've never had an opportunity to see a scope taken apart like this before and being able to see what a turret looks like, what the eyepieces look like. We can walk us through what these pieces look like. First of all, I'm going to pop out the erector tube here. This is the brains of the operation here. This goes on to the, the end of the rifle scope near the eyepiece. Comes through and actually connects on to, through the scope tube and into the erector unit. When you're turning this, it's actually turning this to the point that you're going to get movement through here and it's moving lenses back and forth in here. That's your zoom and everything else. Ahead of that is the parallax. This is the parallax inside the scope here. And the way this is controlled here is it's got a little spindle wheel with a pin that goes up into this and same idea, you're moving a lens back and forth. So the combination of the lenses in here and the lenses in here and the distance between this lens here is how everything comes together for the final product there. And the way that the erector tube moves when we have the turrets in, it's the same thing. You'll have a cap on here. This will turn. And all it is is a guided little pin that comes out of the bottom. And that pin is moving the erector tube side to side or up and down. Or up and down. So here we've got the Crossfire 2 uh, erector unit. This is a Diamondback HP erector unit. This is a Viper PST erector unit. This is a PST Gen 2 erector tube. So in the, in the Vipers, on the first focal plane, we've got the glass reticle etched right on the glass. And then with the crossfires and the diamondbacks, you're going to get a second focal plane reticle, which is going to look just like this. So it's, a, it's an aluminum wire. And that'll actually sit right up at the top end, right in the eyepiece. When we're talking about quality, you know, we can look at the Golden Eagle or the Razor scopes versus, um, you know, sort of a, a more common, say, value yeah. scope in the, the Crossfire. Everybody's got a different budget and a different use. Sure. But when we're looking at the higher end scopes, it's it's these pieces, the parallax and in here, that's really going to define the, the clarity Absolutely. of your of your vision Absolutely. and the uh, the ability to uh, to magnify properly. Wow, what a great segment. Folks, we hope that this information will help make your next purchase a little easier. If you have any questions, please contact Vortex Optics at the address on the screen. Stay tuned for many more informative videos in this series, and don't forget, get your kids outdoors, and always keep it real.